What's up, go to ones? Frank from the Go to Guild here. We are checking out <laughs> Equals. They are a new type of spreadsheet. Let me just get myself centered here. Don't know anything about it. Just saw they got some money from Craft Ventures. It's Craft Ventures. That's um, that's one of the besties. Box group, know about them. A16Z, you know. So let's check out equals. Uh, I remember there was a startup called Grid back in the day. I was also trying to do the new spreadsheet. And obviously there's Airtable and others, but let's see what this is about. The spreadsheet you've always wanted. I don't know what that means. Query, analyze, and report on live data from the comfort of your spreadsheet. It's about damn time. <laughs> uh, I guess they're Lizzo fans, maybe. Um, cool. I like the visual style, the colors, the button styles. Everything looks very clean and lovely. And you know what? I will watch the demo. Hi there. Bobby here, co-founder and CEO of Equals. Bobby, I slow down. Slow down, Bobby. As you can see, Equals looks just like a spreadsheet, but it also does things you've always wanted a spreadsheet to do. Have I always, Bobby, have I always wanted spreadsheets to do more? Let's start with the most magical thing, connecting directly to your data. Here's a worksheet that pulls in live data from Snowflake. You so if you're using Snowflake, Snowflake is not like a average human is not using Snowflake. Snowflake is more you know, real data people. You can see my query in the SQL editor right here in the sheet. I could edit the query directly, but let's use AI Assist to update it for me. We're going to ask it to group by channel and MQL created date, and we'll let AI do the rest of the work for us. There we go. We've got an updated query ready to run and pull in the latest data from Snowflake. Let's run it. Awesome. There are our results. And while we're at it, let's schedule this query to run every day at 9 a.m. so we don't have to do that manually. Nice. Now, oh, it's like a little ETL. <laughs> uh, I remember I worked for a company that had to do an ETL and it was hell. If you don't know SQL, you can either ask AI Assist to write a query for you, or you can use a visual query builder instead. Okay, now we've got our data automatically updating every day. Let's take a look at a more complete analysis I created earlier. This has a little summary table aggregating MQLs by month using our SUMIS formula and a nice chart plotting them out. We're going to go ahead and ask. Also, like MQL is just like, I hate acronyms. As I've said a billion times, that is violation. That one, there was a violation. Just unnecessary when you're talking about products. There's, I mean, you don't save that much time by using acronym. Ask AI Assist to change the chart. We'll ask it to make it a bar chart. And then let's go ahead and say, add horizontal grid lines, just because I like those. Sweet. But here's where equals really shines. Let's select this table. Is that better than clicking the bar chart symbol or something? And we're going to enable auto expand. Now, the next time my query runs, equals will automatically update my summary for me. Instead of waiting for the scheduled query run, we're just going to use command K to manually refresh the data from Snowflake. You'll see that happening up in the top right of the screen. And in a second, you're going to see our latest August results come in on both the table and chart. See something like this, I actually, the way, first of all, this example has gone too long, but the way I envision using something like this is more closer to Canva than it is to Excel. Like I wanna be able to make a report that has like a living element to it. So it's like, these are the numbers and this is how it's updating that type of thing. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know if this format is, this is not like the presentation format to me. There it is. Lastly, let's take a look at how equals can automatically share your analysis with your team. Here we can see Matt wants to send to the team every day so that it's always top of mind. No problem. We're going to add this chart to a report, which is going to appear as a new tab in my workbook workbook. Cool. We'll call this MQL volume. And then we're going to go ahead and schedule this to publish using the same query schedule we set earlier to our demo Slack channel every day once the query is run. To show you an example, we'll send a quick test of the report over to Slack. 
Okay. Let's now switch over to Slack. And awesome. There it is. That's a quick look messages. at why equals is the next generation spreadsheet. Give it a spin. Let us know what you think. Thanks. Um, all right. I don't know how I feel about it. I, I guess I figured this was more of a... This is for people that have a little bit of programming knowledge, it seems. Um, at least from that example. Um, they totally could have done other examples. If I could pause this or go back to the beginning. I guess I can't. I just want to stop this. Stop, stop. <laughs> I was trying to see the different data sources, but I guess it doesn't want me to see the different data sources. Um, because with something like this, the creativity, you should really let the user explore their creativity of how they want to use this. I mean, you're showing one way of using it with Snowflake. Snowflake is not something that I personally use much. Um, I used Power BI when I was at Microsoft, but... Um, yeah, it seemed like there was a whole bunch of other ways you could use this. So in terms of the hero, um, this line is good. Um, cool, I get that. Um, I don't know how... I mean, it's just not something that I need right now personally, so I guess I can't really relate to it. Um, but it seems pretty clear what it's about. Um, I think it can show a little bit more in terms of the product, like what different ways, like I would like to see what the different data sources are. And I'm intrigued at least from the top part, this about damn time is like, it's not really that useful, but it does show a little bit of character and it's always good to stand out a little bit. Um, I think this is a little bit presumptuous that like I've wanted to do more with the spreadsheet. It's like, maybe I didn't know. Maybe you are educating me that there's more possibility out there. I find that consumers are not as creative as some founders, as the founders might be themselves. And so you might have to just like educate people on like, hey, this is a better way to do your weekly marketing overview. Hey, this is another way to make it happen. And you don't have to go pull these numbers yourself. Here's a way to run the reports. Here's, you know, you can connect this data with that data and put it together and mash it up and those type of things. So, um, I mean, heroes all right. Um, I'm going to give them 7.5 on the hero. Um, I think the demo, I would rather have an explainer than a demo for this one because the demo doesn't like... You're not getting wowed by the demo. You know, that's not like the wow moment. The wow is probably when I, I'm assuming, now what I'm expecting to see of the rest of the page, I'm expecting to see all the different types of data you can throw in there, how you can use them together, how a couple companies have used them already. Um, when I think about this, I think of, um, what's it called? Retool, um, with the YC company that does kind of like lets you attach this dashboard to your um, database and use that information however you see fit. That's kind of the area I'm thinking of this in, but let's just see what else they got. Analyze with speed. What does that mean with speed? Some spend by... Uh, I mean, I don't get what the speed thing is. Report on autopilot. Oh, I think it changed from this to this, and I didn't even see it. Analyze with speed. Yeah, I'm not sure what that means. You'll never get my hands off this product. Accounting. Okay, so it's for accountant types that have to deal with money data. Don't settle for the status quo. Connect your data and let the insights flow. Got bars. I feel like it's a music fan. 
Because at first they got the Lizzo reference at the top. They got the bars in the second half. It's all right. Formula error. I'm sorry. I'm going to need a few more. Uh, lawyer, what's the query for this report? These things move too fast. Like, <laughs> slow down, please. Oh, man. The equals way. Get your data from different sources. I do want to do this. <laughs> That's what I was looking for because I do have some data in Stripe. I have some, because this is what happened in my last business. You have, I get checks from some people. Some people go through the website through Stripe. Some people uh, we invoice directly with uh, another platform. And it would be nice to like throw them all together, um, at least for like a financial statement thing. Um, yeah, there's something, there's something there. No more downloading CSVs. Thank f suck. <laughs> uh, I like the little character. I think it's, it's fun. It's like, I don't know. I don't think it's for everybody and it should be consistent, but I like that. Um, I'm curious what all the different types of data are, because that's what's going to get me. If there's at least four data sources that I use that are important to me that I could like tie together and maybe I can pull out some insight that I might not have otherwise, um, that's the type of thing I would care a lot about. So let me see what is going on. Sorry, my the camera is on the fritz right now. All right. SQL meets spreadsheet. This does remind me of Grid a little bit. Josh Leong, I believe. Stripe. Your data always on tap. No SQL, no problem. If you can point and click, then you can query data in equals. Okay, equals excels, equals excels <laughs> at rote task so you don't have to. Um, what does that mean? Set and forget. Annually expand data sets and update calculation of charts as new data comes in. David Sachs is your investor, so <laughs> bestie. <laughs> I will not give my commentary on the besties. I'm going to save that for another time. <sighs> Man. Query on the dot equals auto updates your spreadsheets so you don't have to. Um. I do like that. I think people setting up maybe multi-step queries <coughs> for reports. Um, I don't know why it has to be a spreadsheet. They keep talking about it as spreadsheets and it doesn't seem like it's all about spreadsheets. Like this seems like you can have reports that are not spreadsheets. Um, finally foolproof. I do like this bottom banner. I actually just noticed that. Um, yeah, whoever's a designer is like very talented because it looks great. You would think with all these different colors it wouldn't actually flow, but actually palette is pretty nice together. It's like a good use of color on these different sections. Prevent innocent mistakes. There's a lot of text on here. Compliance is always very important. This looks very much this looks very familiar it's like air table maybe yeah they didn't try to reinvent the wheel with some of this stuff you see this team why is this not clicking to the team page guys come on and i do mean guys because i don't see no women in this picture let me go about meet the team Hey, 
Got some ladies on the team. Good. Okay. Willie. What is this thing? Oh, has their LinkedIn. So your competitors can steal your people. Love that. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know any of these people. But hey. Oh, you're responsible for this, Martin. Well done, Martin. Um, templates. See, this should be higher on the page. <laughs> I'm telling you, people are not that sharp. Make it easy. It's like, hey, you should be figuring out your retention cohorts. There's somebody out there that's like, I don't even know what a retention cohort is. It's like, all right, let me teach you how to be better at your job. And I'm going to make it easier for you. And you just pay me a couple dollars a month. I'm expecting this to be like $10, $10 a what? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> $10 a seat. $49 per seat? God damn. <laughs> Shit. $49? Nah, this is serious. This is for real nerds for this stuff. I was thinking of more casual use cases. $49? Nah. Oh, I'm not hobbying this one. Yeah, this is really... And it's fine to have higher pricing. It's like, knocks out people like me that would just kick the tires on it. Um, but sometimes, I mean, Twilio showed people the hobbyists that were working on the weekends hacking a little Twilio SMS bot or whatever. Those are the people that went back into the office on Monday and said, hey, it's time to implement this SMS two-factor auth thing. Oh, I've used Twilio. It's really easy. I'm going to use it. That strategy works, uh, which is why Twilio used to employ people to work on the weekends doing customer support because that's when people were hacking on stuff. So, you know, could work as a strategy too. Um, Umba equal has help equals has helped us automate our weekly reporting, which previously took hours of manual tedious work for my team. We're now redefining our reporting workflows using equals to allow us to get insights and to get to decisions faster. I believe that I believe that is to be true. Um, but I'm not spending 50 bucks a month. And you got to pay us at least 150 Damn. So these are the integrations. I don't know why this wasn't somewhere else on the page, but it's good to know. See, this is what I'd want to do. I would want to throw Mixpanel and Stripe together um, and maybe QuickBooks and some other stuff to, like, figure out some or just even Mixpanel and HubSpot to see, you know, how did this piece of content do how did, how did it affect xyz parts you know there's probably ways that you can mash this data together um but i think the templates templates are at like the bottom of the page yeah oh this is nice love this it's a nice way to do it's a nice way to do testimonials. You save the space and then people click on the logos they care about. And I hope they're tracking this because you can see which ones people actually click on the most. Probably Intercom, but Notion is also popular. You can see which one you should probably put first. Um, so overall, I really dig this site. Um, just on a design standpoint, I'd probably give it a nine, nine, three. But in terms of communicating what they do, independent of whether I would be a user of the product, um, I think I think they could have shown a little bit more on the range of how people use it on the home page. I think some of it is on that testimony on the. Um, template page um, but people don't have the creativity all the time to understand exactly 
how tools like this can be used. Um, tools, today the tools are more powerful than people know what to do with them. And I think that's why I really think UX is the most important piece of this whole thing. Anybody can get ChatGPT and throw a couple APIs together and have something really powerful, but does it work in the workflow of how people expect something to work? And once they get dropped into a blank spreadsheet-like thing, do they know what to do? Are they gonna do what you want them to do? Are they gonna do what they need to do? Um, so a little bit more of that would probably help. Uh, but overall, I thought the site was pretty solid. Um, so I'm gonna give them 8 point... Eight point six. Eight point six. It was it was really good. Um I could see why it seemed like they have their stuff together. Um I'm not gonna sign up because I would have to pay hundred and fifty a month and I'm not ready to do that. But hopefully they let people kick the tires so you can get some hobbyists to get hooked and then bring it to their company. Um yeah, software is cheap, so you should let people integrate. But enjoy yourselves. Have a great day. As always, brush your teeth. Get you some customer feedback with Goatee Guild. Walk in the corner. You know what that means. We went through it before. Denbo out. You see these? You see these? Damn, that's a techno drone. Paco's nails, baby. Denbo out. <laughs>